We do have plenty of news for you this morning. That's right. We begin in Detroit. While the last few weeks of winter weather haven't felt as cold, it's still one of the most critical times of the year for homeless youth and Covenant House is reaching and helping Detroiters who urgently need help. They showed us around their facility and we rode along on one of their daily searches to show us how great of a need there is. In the dead of the winter months, Detroit's homeless youth are some of the most at risk. Those ages 18 to 24, too old for state foster care, but not old enough to receive government help. And that's where Covenant House steps in. A third of the youth that come to us are actually aged out of foster care. Since 1997, Covenant House has been helping the homeless turn things around. It often doesn't take much, a family dispute, the loss of a job, a mistake landing someone on the wrong side of the law or a relapse of an addiction. That's all it takes for someone to end up without a safe place to live. It also makes finding homeless youth not just a race against the elements during the harshest time of the year, but also a race against the clock. We are really trying to capture these young people before they become chronically homeless, because once they reach that designation, um, the barriers to exit are just so much higher. So our goal here at Covenant House is to not only provide safe shelter and a calm place to live for the time that they're with us, but we want to give them the life skills so that when they do exit our program, they do so independently and it stops the cycle of homelessness. Covenant House led us on their daily search for youth in need. Our guide and a guardian angel for those on the streets, Miss Stephanie Taylor, who's been doing outreach for 24 years. A friendly face for those with nowhere to go. It would be amazing. We approach them just like any other person and just mainly not approaching them in a way that we just assuming that they're homeless. Miss Stephanie and Covenant House often stay in touch with those they can't help anymore because they've aged out or have children, but they do still help where they can. So the first stop was to pick up a mother and daughter who needed a ride. We're going to take this street to, um, we're going to go back up to second and then take it all the way to Mac. After that, it was a stop to help a man she didn't know. Would you like some gloves? Would yeah. you like a snack? Yeah. Are you familiar with Covenant House? He was too old for Covenant House, but Miss Stephanie offered to drive him to another shelter instead. And that's where she found Demario Fierce. Now 21, he also spent time at Covenant House when he was 17. Yeah, I remember you from Covenant House. Oh, yeah, lady. Yeah. Okay. I had just moved out of my granny house and I had my own stuff, but I had a warrant, an old warrant caught out with me from 2021. But DeMario was hoping to put that behind him. With no place to go, Miss Stephanie found him on the edge of being chronically homeless. Right now, I'm being more independent by taking out a step. Even if my pride won't let me, like, I had to diminish it. You know what I'm saying? I had to, like, skip the pride. Like, if I really want to get my own place, this is what I would do. So Miss Stephanie and Covenant House will help DeMario and dozens of others like him. A warm bed, a change of clothes, a chance to start again. And Covenant House is always in need of help and supplies, most notably black hair products. We also have an extended version of this story with more from Miss Stephanie and DeMario. That's up right now on clickondetroit.com and local 4 plus.